now we will see the section of solids for the prisms ok we will see the problem a pentagonal prism axis vertical base edge 40 mm is 80 mm high that is height of the solid is 80 mm it is cut by a plane perpendicular to vp inclined at 40 degrees to hp bisecting the axis draw the true shape of the section ok see the section of problems has uh, two stages one is projection of solid projection of full solid so i need not explain much about the projection of full solid because you knew it already while uh, you were seeing my videos uh, under the topic uh, projection of solids okay so i think i need not elaborate much about the projection of solids part in this particular problem okay i must uh, 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 i'll i'll be concentrating more on the section part only okay now you see the section part uh, sentence it is cut by a plane perpendicular to vp that means uh, it is uh, seen as a line in uh, front view so you have to with regards to the section you have to start from the front view okay this is not about the projection of solid actually i am talking about the projection section part actually right now we will see a pentagon uh, prism is standing with it. this is the three dimensional shape of it after cutting it uh, generally i would assume that the uh, portion above the cutting plane or section plane is to be removed the portion below it or the portion between the section plane and the horizontal plane or the portion between the section plane and the vertical plane okay in this case the section plane between the the object between or object remaining between section plane and the horizontal plane is remaining the other top part is removed okay so this is the question for this question complete the projection part first so the projection is over okay as i said earlier i i, I won't explain much about the projection part okay we will be concentrating more on the section part now you read the problem the section plane is seen as a line in front view because it is perpendicular to vp inclined at 45 40 degree hp uh, hp so you have to drive 45 deg 40 degree line here how it is bisecting the axis so the axis is coinciding with the edge passing through b dash so find out the midpoint through midpoint draw a 40 degree line okay you can you can draw a 40 degree line this way or that way anything is correct uh, 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 both are correct okay so here i have drawn the section uh, uh, line this way right so up to this uh, uh, the section plane uh, contains the object so it should be of thick continuous time line type uh, okay beyond this only both the ends it should uh, you should follow or you should use the thin continuous line uh, thin chain line type and thick at the ends so now the section plane is introduced section plane is seen as a line in front view after this you have to assume that this portion is remaining portion between the section line or section plane and the x y line the portion above the section plane is removed so that is why i darken the portion remaining okay i, I uh, uh, the leaving the remaining uh, edges as thin right so the portion remaining alone is darkened then the next point is it cuts all the five vertical edges pentagonal prism has got five vertical edges one two three four and five okay so that means it has five cutting points mark those cutting points one dash on a dash two dash on b dash three dash on c dash four dash on d dash five dash on e dash okay so uh, after cutting this we will we'll try you try to transfer the cutting points onto the top view okay that is the apparent section why it is called apparent section the cutting plane is inclined to xy or inclined to hp that means the corresponding sectional top view is apparent section that is not a true shape okay so hatch the entire area okay it should uh, the hatching line you know it already it should be a, it should uh, be a thin continuous line type equispaced it should just cover the boundary you should not uh, uh, you should not cover the uh, uh, if it is not covering the boundary means it is incorrect if it, the if the hatching line crosses the boundary again it is incorrect okay so the apparent section is over now we will see the true shape of the section to get the true shape of the section the observer has to see perpendicular to this section plane that means somewhere here so from here the observer has to look at this one so then 
the true symbol section will be getting somewhere here for that the procedure is draw another new reference line x1 y1 parallel to the section line vt this x1 y1 line should be parallel to this okay it can be any distance then with respect to this you start mark how many cutting points there are five cutting points you should you should get the five cu cutting points 1 1 1 1 2 3 4 5 right the procedure is i'll tell you for example for cutting point 1 draw a projector or a line perpendicular to x1 y1 draw line perpendicular to x1 y1 i can call it as a projector with respect to x1 y1 okay on it mark 1 1 such that the distance of 1 1 from x1 y1 is equal to distance of 1 from x y in top view again i repeat this distance of 1 1 from x1 y1 from this point to this point length is equal to in top view the the height of 1 from x y okay uh, uh, i think you have got the idea so, so for marking two point uh, the point number two get the height of two uh, from top view this side point number two is here uh, set the compass to this distance uh, high, uh, length of uh, height of two from x y compass uh, compass is set at this okay now through two dash draw a projector with respect to x1 when cutting line uh, point you mark the 2 1 okay so 2 1 the distance of 2 1 from x1 y1 is equal to uh, in top view the uh, distance of 2 from x y follow the same for the other points now darken join all the points in sequence that shows the uh, that gives you the true shape of the section now you hatch that one okay uh, the hatching line should be uh, uh, thin continuous line type inclined at some angle okay so this is the answer